Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here this morning. Hey, it's a beautiful morning out and uh, we've made a service call out here to look at a 8420 tractor and the customer says that he's having some GPS problems and can't get his GPS receiver online and um, they've never used the auto track on this tractor. They bought this tractor used and so um, I already see that it looks like it might have possibly have a wiring problem uh, going up to the GPS receiver, but we'll take a look at that. Found a friend this morning too. But if you can see, take a look at that. So there's, there's his GPS wiring harness kind of hanging out of the front of the cab here. So I suspect that it is a possibility that we might have a problem there okay so we're going to dig into this a little bit and see what we got going on here um we've got the display powered up here and we'll go and look and so yeah there is no if you can see that the receiver is not online so it's not on the display there so um we're gonna get up on top of the cab here and take a look at uh, that there is a light on the front of the 3000 receiver um, that should be flashing letting us know that we have power there so we may check that real quick and then we'll look at power and ground and can high and can low voltages going into that coming out of that plug from the top of the cab pulled the receiver off the top of the cab here where we could see a little better and i don't know if you can see that very good but there is a little light right there on the front of the 3000 and it is lit up green, okay? So I believe if that's lit up green that we do have power and ground going to the receiver, but it is still not showing up on the display under the menu tab. So if we come back up here, and actually if you can see that there, it's flashing right now letting me know that there's no receiver online. So, but if we go to the menu tab there, there's no receiver tab. Um, to click on there. So I think what we've got going on is we're not getting CAN signal from the receiver there. Okay, so we're going to get our voltmeter and check our CAN there and see what's going on with that. We've checked uh, voltage and ground here at the connector coming out of the cab roof here. And we've got good voltage and ground, good 12 volt and ground. Um, I'm hooked into the can low at the moment and it's reading 1.5 if you can see that on my meter which is a pretty strange can voltage um, i would be expecting to see a little bit closer to that two and a half volt i'm going to switch over here and go to can high communication voltage and it's reading 2.18 if you can see that there and so i think we've got a can voltage issue um, one of my suspects when we've got the receiver knocked off the line, the first thing that I like to look at is the implement connector on the back of the tractor, the ISO uh, communication connector. And so we're going to take a look at that real quick and check voltage back there. And so stay tuned. I went ahead and came back here to the implement connector here and checked my voltage and ground and then also took a look at my can high and can low communication voltage and what i found was is that the voltage was reading about the same on this end of the uh, can as opposed to the cab roof at the end of the can up there the communication wiring so it was reading about two and a half volts on well actually about not even two two volts on can high and 1.5 volts on can low communication voltage so we were reading the same back here at the implement connector on the back of the tractor and so what i believe was going on was the implement connector is bad okay so this is the end of the the impl the end of the can communication on the back of the tractor at the implement connector okay so the implement connector is also a terminator uh, for the voltage the can high and can low voltage okay if this implement connector and this built-in terminator if it is bad then you will basically <coughs> corrupt your can voltage and cause your receiver uh, to not be recognized on the can okay 
And so we're going to go up and take a look real quick. I went ahead and plugged in a new um, terminator or implement connector here. Okay, and I think I haven't even looked at the voltage yet, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. But I think that probably corrected our voltage. Uh, we're going to take a look here real quick and see. So back up in the cab now and we'll go to the menu tab and now our receiver is online. Okay. Now one thing I like to do when I've got my receiver online so we can go to the diagnostic tab and we can go to voltages, system voltage. Right now on my can high voltage, I'm reading 2.4. Can low voltage is reading 2.3. Pretty good rule of thumb is, is that if you add those two voltages together, you should come up with five volts total. So we're right there pretty close to that five volt mark. Um, our receiver is back online and looks like it's tracking satellite. So we finally got an SF1 signal, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and fix his wiring uh, that doesn't look so good here on the front of the cab there, I'll show you. We're going to go ahead and fix that for him and uh, we may install some new pins in the connector there too on the outside of the cab and go ahead and install this new implement connector and i think that'll get him up and running we'll we'll get that done and then we'll get out here on the road and and auto track just a little bit and make sure everything works out like it's supposed to and uh, so keep in mind that if you're losing your receiver on your display that it's not always a receiver problem and not always a wiring problem. Okay, sometimes um, we could just have a bad implement connector on the back of the tractor and the built-in terminator inside of that implement connector could be faulted. Check this out. I went ahead and I wanted to go ahead and disconnect this receiver and check that can voltage here on the front of the cab again and show you what that voltage looks like now on the voltmeter since we've replace the terminator on the back of the cab so if you can see that now we're reading 2.89 on can high okay i'm gonna move my probe up here over to can low okay so now we're reading can low and our can low is reading 2.11 okay so if you add those two together we now have five volts where before we had one and a half volts on can low and right out about two volts on can high so um, that's what's corrected our problem is the implement connector on the back of the cab so we've got good gps signal now tracking satellites uh, really good and uh, auto track everything seems to be working normal the re 568 839 implement connector was the problem uh, we found that by checking our can high and can low um, communication voltage and found that that voltage was out of spec. Um, the only thing that was giving us a problem was the receiver. And so just a quick note to remember that um, when, you've, when you're having that problem and the receiver is not on the can anymore, not showing up on the display, a uh, pretty good rule of thumb is, is to check that voltage and then look at that uh, implement terminator on the back of the tractor first because that could be your problem. And so um, I try to carry one of those on the truck to test with all the time, but um, hey, just uh, hope that helps you out. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. We've got more videos coming soon, so uh, it's going to be a beautiful day out. We've got a lot of more calls to make, so Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. We need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already burning me out. Some bloopers. He's sitting in the sun over here, man.